What is up everyone? Today we are going to do the first of three videos uh, for the UFC 278 challenge reward uh, for UFC strike. So we're going to take a look at what the easy mode uh, reward was and we're going to find out together. So let's head over to the computer and take a look. So here's some details. Uh, They're celebrating UFC 278 and uh, this was the big Usman uh, Leon fight. So uh, it's behind us. Really, really, really uh, fun and interesting result to that uh, that fight. But uh, there was three tiers that we could that we could potentially complete, and each one had its own reward to it. So we had easy mode, medium mode, and hard mode. Obviously, hard mode was going to require the the uh, the hardest amount or most expensive amount of uh, moments to to complete. But Fortunately for us, we were able to complete all three. So this video is going to be dedicated to the easy mode. So we'll just go over that one right now. The requirements on this was to own all six lights out contender moments. Challenge reward pack with three moments. That's our reward. So we're going to be ripping that in this video right here. Um, and it says complete easy mode to earn a reward pack stuffed with three limited edition series one contender moments. Collectors must acquire and hold the six lights out contender moments, which drop this week and lights out three day event. I do not remember what those ones were. So we're not going to be able to review that, but we're going to get right into the pack though. So let's go to that. Hope you're all having a wonderful day or evening. Okay, we have, a, we have a bunch of videos that we're gonna have to make here because we have four packs that are unopened. I'm excited. But this one's just gonna be this 278 challenge reward airdrop. Okay, so we're gonna open up this pack. It has three moments. We're gonna wish, or, wish us luck. I'm gonna be quiet here. I don't know if there's gonna be any sound on this, but we'll, we'll see. And if there was sound on there, then that looked really cool. But uh, I'm not hooked into my computer. I'm hooked into an external recorder, so I, could, I couldn't hear what that is. Um, so I'm sorry if it's silent when I get into the editing part. Um, as far as our three, as far as our three, uh, we got Chad Enghengler. I'm, I'm mispronouncing his name. Um, I feel like I know a decent amount of the fighters on the, on the, on the roster, but there's so many, and sometimes I'm just... I'm just off. So um, sorry, Chad, if I'm mispronouncing your name, I probably am, but that's minted out of 12,000. We got a pretty high serial number, 11,696. We got Darren Till, I know how to pronounce that one. Um, and that one's out of 10,000, got a lower number, nine, uh, 912. And then Pedro, who just fought um, Sean O'Malley and uh, probably about a month ago. And that did not go the way that I was hoping it was going to go. I, I really wish that that fight could have went all the way through. Um, just left a bad taste and I think everyone's mouth. So uh, I got poked in the eye. Um, I feel like there's maybe some controversy there on whether he got poked in the eye or not. It, it looked There looked to be a punch that might have felt like it got poked in the eye. But I don't know. Like people are questioning Pedro's toughness and I've seen other fights with him and it's like, uh, that guy's tough. So I just wish that we didn't, we didn't have that result, but it is what it is. I don't see them fighting again. And, uh, now O'Malley's going to be fighting Jan. So that's over, but we got a mint number of 10,000 and a serial number of 7,956. We'll take a look at one of these moments. Who do we want to look at? Well, we'll look at Chad since I, for some reason I'm going blank with that one. So we'll look at Chad. We'll see uh, what that moment looks like. And C should be, it's an alphabetical order in my collection. It should be pretty easy to find. Should be pretty easy to find. There he is. Okay, so I'll be, I'll be silent and there should be some sound to this moment. The commentary, commentary should be there. The thing that I like about Strader is he's adjusted. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, Jack Gallagher with that great touch knockdown. It's over, it looks like. I mean, if he keeps touch. doing shots like this, they're going to call the fight. This is big. That'll do it. Chad and Helliger takes the scorecards right out of it. Whoa. Wow. I mean, we were just saying he's got to step on the gas a little bit, and it's such a close round. Unbelievable. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, nickname is The Monster. He, he threw two lefts there. And uh, Jesse's head, you can see on the second when Jesse's head got turned. Man. So, very cool. Very cool. Nothing too crazy. I would assume this Chad moment is $2. Let's see. Chad, one. I can't type today. There we go. And it's three bucks, three dollars. So uh, it was one dollar off on there. But that's going to be that's going to be it. We're going to have another video coming up uh, very shortly, and it's going to show uh, the medium mode. So stay tuned to that, and we'll also have a third video that'll show the hard mode. So stay tuned to that as well. If you haven't already opened up an account with UFC, um, or at least the platform UFC Strike, the the account is or the website is ufcstrike.com. Go over there, open up an account. They have start. I believe they still have starter packs on here. Maybe they don't anymore, but they should have starter packs on here. Buy a pack. The starter packs are generally about 10 bucks. See if you like it. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but at least you tried it and you have a little collection of, of three moments and maybe it's something that you, you get into and you, you like it. But um, as far as UFC, I love, I love this. It's cool to own the moments, especially when you have those main cards and you have like Rogan going crazy on, on the broadcast. It's, it's pretty cool. So do that. Um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please do so. And if you like this video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, if you are a collector, good luck on your next rip. I'll talk to you all later. Peace.